My name is uh, Gijs Mol. I'm ITF inspector in the port of uh, Rotterdam or the Netherlands. Um, I started in '99 uh, as a truck driver, mm -hmm. and I went to. I became a dock worker in 2007, and in 2015 I became an ITF inspector. Twenty years ago, it was not all automatic. It was uh, all by hand, uh, hand jobs mm -hmm. and working with the hands. And after that, the, the containers came. And so what we see now is more automation, um, uh, temporary labor. There's, you see a lot of temporary labor. It's cheaper. And if there are not that much loads or containers or trailers coming in, then they can cancel the um, the, the workers. So that that's a big change, and that's also an attack on the uh, on the permanent dockers, CBAs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big change what's happening in the past 20 years until now, and still going on. And what does it mean for the workers? It's constantly the, 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 the companies are attacking the dock workers, the permanent dock workers, because they must lower the, 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 the CBA, the salaries must get lower, and then they say, yeah, not, not enough work to do. So other terminals are cheaper. And yeah. And was there also some kind of work intensification, more pressure on the workers? Or? Also more pressure because uh, what, what I, when I started in the, as a dock worker, we had, uh, for example, six people working on the deck. Mm -hmm. And when I left, it was only two persons a deck. Okay. <coughs> and then we are we're lashing with, with change and all that kind of things. And then you see the, 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 the ships are getting bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. And yeah, then a shorter time to turn around, a shorter turnaround times. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was, it's hard. The work pressure, we see a lot of sickness and back problems and neck problems. Will, so, this, will these problems become worse? Now that uh, the work becomes more automated? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, not about the automation, but that, that, that's another story. But if you look to the dock workers, so you see temporary workers, they are not willing to work for a company because it's temporary. Mm -hmm. So the, the guys are sitting in, in school and just a job for several months or holiday work. So it's, it's the effect for a longer time. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. It's affected longer time. If you do heavily work, every work longer periods, and companies or ship owners don't see that. Yeah. What are the challenges for the trade unions that come out of this development? To be there more also for for yeah, for the health and safety, hmm. for health and safety for the workers. I think it's not anymore. The, the big issue is the wages. It's. It's, I think, more the health and safety, to get uh, healthy to your uh, pension. And what are your strategies to deal with these problems as a trade union? Well, what, what we see now, I can, I can speak for the ITF, but mm -hmm. what we see now is a feeder company, short sea uh, feeders. Uh, the, the crew is doing the lashing. Mm -hmm. the, the, the crew is not educated to do the lashing. And mm -hmm. They don't understand the language yeah. here in the Netherlands, so yeah, it's very dangerous. And we try to get the, back wor the work back to the, to the dock workers because mm -hmm. they are educated. They know what yeah. to do. They know how to work. Yeah. And yeah, so we try to. What message would you like to send to your fellow dockers in all ports and to maybe people working in the ships? Just stay together and seafarers and dockers are one. Uh, the seafarers need the dockers and the dockers need the seafarers. So that's why stay together, solidarity to both parties and work together. How worse is it going to be, but work together and stay strong and fight to good cause.